The sun has won, and it's not even close. Don't miss out on solar's exponential growth. Harvard physicist Al Bartlett said, The greatest shortcoming of the human race is our inability to understand the exponential function. You'll never guess why solar power was invented by AT&T back in the mid-50s. It was with wildly modest intentions, powering payphones in remote areas. The first demonstration of a scrappy, cobbled together solar panel generated just enough power to slowly spin a tiny toy Ferris wheel. No one, not even AT&T, understood the exponential growth potential of this new tech. But last year, solar panels produced three times the amount of energy used by the entire United States back when that Ferris wheel was spinning. Because solar has a single secret superpower no other major source of energy has. Energy like coal or natural gas have a fixed cost of extraction. So even as the amount drilled for or mined rises by orders of magnitude, their prices stay roughly the same, over centuries. But solar cells are manufactured, not extracted. That means solar becomes much cheaper with every successive cell manufactured and 70 billion solar cells were made last year. So from 1985 to 2025, while coal was going nowhere, the price of solar fell off a cliff. This graph shows the last 45 years of cumulative gigawatts of production versus price. Nothing but solar is capable of this kind of ongoing price decrease. Which is why, within a decade, the single biggest source of electrical power on planet Earth will be solar. And that switch is happening much, much faster than even the experts are predicting. Which means there's still a big investment opportunity at play. Here's why everyone's wrong about solar. For the last quarter century, some of the most reputable organizations in the world have wildly underestimated solar power growth predictions. For example, the International Energy Agency publishes predictions about solar's growth in its annual World Energy Outlook. In its 2009 report, the IEA predicted that by 2029, installed solar capacity would increase 10 times to 244 gigawatts. It hit that milestone in just six years and has nearly 10 x again from there. For much of the 2010s, solar deployment beat the IEA's five-year forecast by over 200%. They constantly revised their forecast upward to try to keep pace with reality. In 2021, they said 2023 would bring in 218 gigawatts of installation. In 2022, they said 257 gigawatts. In 2023, they said 406 gigawatts. Bloomberg New Energy Finance tried the same. Here's how it added to its 2023 forecast, eventually landing on a little over 400 gigawatts. The reality? 447 gigawatts deployed. More than twice their original predictions. It made exactly the same mistake in 2024. The only people who've come close to correct are solar diehards like Greenpeace, which made an obviously astronomical prediction in 2009, nearly one terawatt of global solar capacity by 2030. The world is already at two terawatts in 2025. The trouble with solar predictions is that no one has learned the lesson from the last 70 years. The experts are still assuming linear growth, but solar is growing exponentially. To humans, exponential growth looks like absolutely nothing. Then overnight, it takes over the world. From that first Ferris wheel through the 80s and 90s and early 2000s, it looked like solar was barely moving. And now that's changing. Solar is on track to fundamentally redefine the way the world supplies energy in the 21st century. That's according to Wood McKenzie. Now all at once, this year, solar is becoming the global standard for electricity generation. Here's some growth at the speed of light. To understand where solar is actually headed, take past reality and work forward from there. Here's how rapidly solar deployment has grown for the past two years. In 2004, it took one year to install a gigawatt of solar power. In 2010, it took one month. In 2016, it took one week. In 2024, it took about 12 hours. That's the equivalent of three and a half football fields of solar installed every minute. Here's what that looks like over the past 15 years. Note that the y-axis in the chart below is exponential and solar is breaking out above that trend line. At the current growth rate, solar capacity is doubling about every three years or growing 10 times every decade. 
According to ISES, solar power will surpass nuclear generation in 2026, wind in 2027, dams in 2028, gas in 2030, and coal in 2032. And in just 25 years, solar capacity will exceed 75 terawatts, or six times the world's current electricity generating capacity. That will make solar humankind's largest source of primary energy, not just electricity. Which means we're closer to AT&T's Ferris wheel in terms of total solar deployment than we are to what's coming. The Economist said almost all the demand for solar panel still lies in the future. Exponential growth is difficult to see at first, until suddenly, it looks like it was inevitable. It's not often the future is this easy to predict. Fortunately, it's also not difficult to profit from an exponentially growing technology. You just have to recognize the opportunity. TUSA Research has already done the legwork for you, identifying a company that's capitalizing on the massive solar growth in the United States. In our next video, we're going to show you how they're on the verge of hitting their Netflix moment. Please like, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next video.